This is Green Tech Media's Five Questions, the Solar Market Insight Edition. I'm Stephen Lacey, Senior Editor at Green Tech Media. And in this conference video series, we're sitting down with solar executives and asking them five questions about what they see happening in their area of the market. I'm joined by Nigel Cockroft, the U.S. General Manager for Jinko Solar. So in 2013, Jinko saw a pretty big boost in sales and market valuation. What contributed to that growth? Well, Jinko has always been a very well-managed company and very prudent financially. So borrowed less money, kept the factories very full, and bought very modern equipment. And it makes a very good product. So we've actually led the cost structure for the last three years. If you look at the financial analyst reports, you'll find that we've uh, had that cost leadership for three years. And that's translated to margin leadership, uh, which has translated to profitability. What do you see happening in the U.S. market for Jinko? Yeah, so coming into 2014, we, we, we already have very good visibility. Uh, we're finding our customers to be much more organized uh, now than they were a year or two ago. Uh, so we're really working on deals now that are uh, good for 2014. So we imagine at least doubling again, maybe, maybe more than doubling uh, coming into 2014, for 2014. Uh, in addition to that, um, we've really got good visibility on some improved products as well that will get, a lot of, get us a lot of traction, we think. So we've seen the Chinese market grow substantially in terms of solar deployment along with manufacturing. What's the role of the U.S. and other global markets in that growth? Well, I, I think the two uh, actually kind of go hand in hand. Uh, China has a uh, very, very high demand for uh, product, uh, and that means whole systems. And some of the barriers to trying new technology in China are a little bit lower. And uh, some of the challenges uh, for deployment in China are pretty clear. And, and the goals of having better grid stability and uh, very good implementation of China. And it has to be very efficient as well. So in the same way that the US has to be very efficient in deployment to get uh, profit out of it, in China it's very competitive and we have to be very efficient there. So what we think uh, will happen here is that some of the technology will flow back from China to the US as we have the opportunity to do large field deployments of some of these new technologies. So as you look ahead to 2014, what are some of the most important technological developments for Jenko? Yeah, so for us, uh, we're really uh, very confident and excited about a technology being produced by uh, Maxim, the company Maxim, semiconductor chip company. Uh, it's an optimization technology that occurs at the uh, cell level. So a given module can be fully optimized uh, at, at a cell string level. This really means that it can improve the average aging characteristics of that whole panel, handle uh, a high performance output at a shaded situation, a soiled situation, uh, uneven aging. So it really improves the performance of that module. But most importantly, uh, two things. It uh, has very predictable high reliability because the reliability is, is it's a in simple integrated circuit and uh, it's easy to predict and verify that reliability. Uh, and secondly, its cost projection is extremely uh, good. It's essentially a single chip. The higher the volume, uh, the lower the cost, and therefore uh, the lower the price that we can offer that technology and really genuinely improve the performance of a module. And finally, people want to know what's going to happen to solar module prices. I mean, do you think that prices are going to continue to stabilize through 2014? Yeah, I think that, uh, that prices have stabilized this year, and I, I think coming uh, into the next year, I think we can expect to see the same sort of stability. Uh, the only thing that could really uh, change that is any change to the tariff, U.S. tariff situation, uh, and that change uh, hopefully could be for the better. Uh, maybe some brokered arrangement, uh, brokered deal between U.S. and Chinese manufacturers and the U.S. and Chinese governments. Uh, that could actually be uh, disruptive in a favorable way to the cost of solar for the U.S. Uh, if, if nothing like that happens, I think we see uh, continued stability uh, of, the, of the product price per module, uh, but an imp a continuous improvement in the performance of the module.